Today is the day. Time to get this corn planter out and see how she works. Today we're going to plant a relatively small area. Uh, we've got this test plot here where I tried out the plow a few weeks ago. Everything went well, the bed is ready, so uh, what better place to try out the uh, test run on the planter than the, uh, the test plot. Let's take a look at how this thing works. So uh, we've got two hoppers here and uh, I'm just strapped down. So in the hopper is where the corn goes and there are some plates down there that rotate and uh, deliver one seed at a time. What happens is they, uh, they drop down from the bottom of the, uh, the hopper and you've got this, this piece right here cuts a, uh, a furrow in the dirt. The seed drops behind the furrow and then next what happens is you've got these wheels here that, uh, that are shaped in a way that they they close that furrow up after the wheel rolls over it. And um, so this is a two row planter. We've got two hoppers, so we'll plant two rows at a time. And uh, it's got a series of chains. So everything is ground driven, meaning when you drag these wheels through the ground, the chains spin and operate all the other working pieces. So this is fairly adjustable. Um, you can adjust the rows how wide they are apart as well as uh, you can move this chain onto different size gears and that'll give you different spacings uh, within the row. So right now I think we're just going to try out uh, the setting that it's already on and just see how this thing works. There are a variety of plate sizes available depending on the size of corn that you use. Uh, the plate that's in here right now is for peaches and cream hybrid sweet corn. So I picked up half a pound of that and uh, we'll give that a try and see how it works. Right now the two planters are set 36 inches apart to make sure that when I make a second pass the next row is 36 inches from the last one. I've attached a stick here with a string and all I need to do is make sure that, that string is dragging through the previous row and uh, that's 30, that string is 36 inches from this planter on the right and uh, that's, that's going to be my method for, for getting evenly spaced rows. But enough small talk, let's give it a try. mechanism seems to be in good working order. Uh, I could hear a, a click every every few seconds indicating a seed was being dropped. But what I didn't take into account was the fact that, uh, that this area where the seeds drop was all blocked up so they were just all the seeds were just being dropped uh, down here and then getting stuck. So that's why we do a practice run. Uh, so I've cleaned these, cleaned these out a little bit and let's take another pass. One thing to mention is that uh, the seeds that came out, they are intact, indicating that the plate size is right. And there, I don't know if you can see down there, there's a seed in each, uh, in each spot. So uh, that just confirms that we've got the right plate for the right seed. So let's uh, give this another try. 